Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. We're really excited to make today's video. We've actually wanted to make it for a long time and we figured the holidays were the perfect time to make this video. Today, we're talking about how the heck do you survive the holidays when you're an introvert or an extrovert. We have compiled a list of a few tips that have been really effective in our marriage and in life in general. So we're gonna start with the tips for the extroverts because we know that introverts hate going first. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. So my first tip for extroverts is just go. There are some times when you need to be around crowds and like all of the holiday noise and cheer and maybe the people you're with don't want that. Go do it. Just like leave the house, go to the mall. Like last night I left and I went by myself because I just needed to like walk around stores and be around people <laughs> and holiday songs and all the shopping. <laughs> so don't be afraid to just like go be your extroverted self among other people. And our first tip for the introverts is don't be afraid to say no. You don't have to go hang out with all the crowds and the noise and the cheer and the crazy. You can you can stay home. You don't have to go to every single holiday party that you were invited to. Uh, even this weekend we were invited to brunch with friends who we love and we love hanging out with. We love going to brunch with them but I was tired and I just I needed a break. And so we said no. The next tip for extroverts is don't overwhelm everyone else. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of parties. Yes, lots of new friends. But remember, not everybody is wired like we are. And so sometimes like in social settings, we can come across as a little aggressive. And so when you're in these settings around new people, remember, tone it back just a little bit. Not everything has to be about us. Um, <laughs> not everyone is wired about us. So just remember um, not to overwhelm the people that you're around this holiday season. The second tip for introverts, avoid crowds when you can. If you don't have to go to the mall, don't go to the mall. Shop local, shop boutiques. They're usually smaller, a little less crowded. You don't have to go hang out with the other 100,000 people that are at the mall. We've even found that doing like normal grocery shopping, anytime we have to go to the store during the holiday season, it's helpful for you if we go like during off times. Yep. Because don't go at peak time, don't go Saturday at 3 p.m. because everybody <laughs> in the world is at Costco Saturday at 3 p.m. It's true. <laughs> My third tip for extroverts is don't forget to care for yourself. One of the things that I have found to be true with a lot of extroverts is sometimes our extrovertedness actually covers like we use it as a cover for like painful things or hard things in our past. And so sometimes we rush past like things that we need to deal with in our own life because we're like, nope, just gotta get to the next party. Just gotta be the life of the party and use humor. And like, what we're actually doing is like covering something, especially around the holidays that might be painful. Um, so deal with the things in your life that you need to deal with, right? Even extroverts sometimes need to take a break. Sometimes we need to stay home and just say, you know what, there's some stuff in my own life that um, I don't need to put a mask and cover with another party or with another social outing. So extroverts, I'm speaking to myself too. <laughs> Care for yourself this holiday season. Don't just like go, 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 go. And then the new year shows up and then we just like collapse until February because we nearly killed ourselves. So uh, yeah, we're pretty bad at that. <laughs> And the third tip for introverts is actually the same thing. Schedule you time. You know, the holidays are always super busy. It's really easy to fill up every second of every day. Put it on the calendar. This block is me time. I'm going to watch a Hallmark movie. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to, this is me time. Yep, super important. So, yep. And the last tip is actually for both introverts and extroverts. If you are married, if you're in a relationship, or if you just have people in your life who are not like you, maybe, you know, like us, like I'm more extroverted, Sherry's more introverted, give them space to be that, mm -hmm. right? Like last night, Sherry needed to let me go to the mall because that's what I needed. And there have been times this holiday season when I've like, Sherry needs two Hallmark movies in her life right now. <laughs> and so like, I need to give her space to do that. So uh, if I want Sherry to experience the holidays like I experience the holidays, she's going to like get to the end of December and just like crash. I'm gonna get to the end of the week and crash. That's true, that's true. <laughs> if she makes me experience the holidays like she wants to, like I'm just gonna be bored and grumpy and like, like feel like I'm tied up. So give the other person space to be exactly what they are. And I promise you, both of you, will enjoy the holidays much, much more. Yes. That doesn't mean that you just never spend time together. Um, you know, there's times that he wants to go to the mall and we go to the mall. 
Um, there's times that I want to watch a Hallmark movie, so we watch a Hallmark movie. Yep. So, you know, there's, it's still, we want to be together during the holidays, but also all the time, but also give each other the space to not have to be together all the time. Yeah, and tell us in the comments below, we want to know, first of all, do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? I'd love to know our viewing audience where mm -hmm. you guys fall on this. <laughs> but then also, are there any other tips that you have found as an introvert or an extrovert that really help the holidays uh, or even life in general just go easier and smoother. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next Leg Life Vlogmas vlog. <laughs>